Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you today? I'm so happy to see you every day, every moment, to feel you, to taste your vibration, and to dance with you. It's so nice one day, really, to create a weekend of dancing and singing. Today, it's the 17th day. And I call this day the day of hope. When I woke up early morning, I say, this is the day of hope. And hope cannot come lonely. It will come mm. with love, mm. with harmony, with feeling, with tasting, with connection. I would like to connect with hope and to taste the hope and to hug the hope. Mm. Once I came to my guru, to my sheikh, to ask him, what, what the meaning of that tasting the thing? It's in my beginning, in, 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 in the path, in, in the initiation of uh, Sufism. He asked me, Rasan, it's a crazy Sufi uh, definition. I say, okay, what is this? He said, if I'll tell you, you like maklube, it's Palestinian food, the, the, the most uh, uh, famous dish. I say, yes. W what you'll see, he say, yes, because you tested, you know, what is this? <clears throat> I thought I'm so clever. I say, I catch the sheikh. How can I taste the things that I don't know? He said to me, you know everything, but you lost the way to come back. Mm. Find the way. Mm. All of us, we need to find the way back to connect, to be together, to love one another and to play together mm. and to dance together. Shabuddin, good morning. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm so happy to see your faces. It really keeps me going, quite frankly. And all of us, it keeps all of us going. I want to uh, say a few comments and then get really into the, the holiness, because the first comments are not holy. And the first comment is to understand that what we're dealing with, not just in the Middle East, what we're dealing with in Ukraine, in Sudan, in, in uh, Myanmar, we're dealing with egos that are out of control. And when an ego is out of control, it unknowingly becomes very afraid. When you have the ego out of control, living in a mind of fear, it creates all kinds of stories. And this is how we get fake news, and this is fake stories and fake rumors and so on. You know, there were all of these horrendous pictures of what Hamas did. And certainly I'm not going to defend Hamas. It's like defending the devil, quite frankly. But 95% of the pictures, I won't tell you what they were. You know what they were, and I'm not going to say it. It turned out to be fake, that those alleged actions did not happen. The other thing I want to say is the ego, without mentioning any names on the Israeli side, is also living in fear and in fantasy. So... It's easy to blame people. Oh, the Gazans. There's no such thing as the Gazans. There are people who live there. Oh, the Israelis. There's no such thing as the Israelis. It's people who live in Israel. You know, this is not a football game. We can't choose sides. We can't say, oh, this team of 11 is the good team. That team of 11 is the bad team. It's all all made up stories that are leading us down a path to hell. So we need to be clear. We need to observe our own character, our own nature. We need to ask, I think, 
I think it was Iqbal and Davy yesterday, we need to ask, who am I? Who is this in me that wants to believe all of this, that wants to let my emotions go off wire, off line? Who is it? What is it? And once we find that, we can pull back from it and then become a servant of peace, one of the names of God. I don't, and believe me when I say this, I don't care if you don't believe in peace. I really don't care, but I care that you believe in love. Because if you believe in love, your heart will be cleansed. You won't believe some of the nonsense that you see on both sides, I might add, of the football game. And you'll start to realize these are people. Do you, do, let, let me ask you something. You're all very wise people. Do you really think that the population of Israel wants to send in 300,000 troops to fight an enemy that they can't see? Do you really believe that? Do you think that's the will of the Israeli people? Do you think it's the will of the Palestinian people that they should invade Israel? Do, you know, this is not the will of the people. We must understand the difference between the people and the leaders, supposed leaders of the people. And it's not just Israel and it's not just Palestine. It's in North America, it's in Europe, it's in Africa, it's in Asia. So the peacemaker has to be a wise maker. They have to learn to hear and read and see deeply. And then we can taste peace. So you were telling a story about your sheikh. I'm going to tell a story about one of my sheikhs who's been around a lot lately, Merchant Sam Lewis. And I was very new. I had not even been initiated yet. But I was fully aware that this was an illumined person. And I think I was like 20, I don't know, young. I was young. And I said to him, you say that Sufism is based on experience. The mystical path is based on experience. But my life, even if I live to be 100 years, won't give me enough time to have all the experiences. So what do I do? And he looked at me and he said, good question. Very good question. Here's what you do. And I was like, ready. And he said, because we don't have time to live every experience, we must learn from other people's experiences. Always look at whatever you see and take the lesson from it. Everybody can teach you, a child, a tree, an animal, an evil person. Learn the lesson. So we have to learn the lesson. That's my prayer for today, that we use our innate wisdom to understand that we're not talking about teams or groups or countries. We're talking about human beings. Children, old people, men, women, that's what we're talking about. The blood is the same. When it spills, it causes the same pain. So I do pray for peace. I do, I do. Thank you. Amen. I mean, amen. Thank you so much, Abuddin. Thank you for this golden words and deep words thank you so much uh it's it's so great to believe what shabuddin say to believe in what shabuddin say and to practice it mm. he, he he spoke about how to practice it's practicing yes mm. and how can i know first of all you know that you know everything you know everything but you realize everything as shabuddin say with the others because you are the storage of all of the knowledge. When God tried to hide the knowledge, he hid it within us as a human being. We have everything within us. We think that we go to, to, to buy the, the, the knowledge from the teacher math. It's within us. The teacher, he is the guide. Show us the paths, how to get 
inside and got out the knowledge that it's storage within you in your souls and spirits. And very important thing, we need to be peacemakers. It's very important. And many people ask, where is the steps? Where is the path from where I can begin? The first step, lead me to the first step. Before we will see the external step, we must enter to make inner journey, to clean everything inside, to prepare ourselves and to come ready, to come ready to climb, mm. to come ready to hike. It's a so soft mountain with the very great animals. We can meet, hug every animal, every tree, every wind, everything, every bird. And then this is our path. Mm. From here, I would like to go to very, very special person that I met and I, uh, he, he, she hosted me many times when I went to upper New York, the most beautiful areas here. And uh, uh, she is a very, very, very deep uh, thinker and a sharp thinker and uh, a peacemaker. Peacemaker, not only in her intent, all of her unit as a human being, she is a peacemaker. The first letter of her name is Linda Hall. And Amina, Amina, it's your, please. Thank you, dear friend, Ghassan. Shalom, salam, peace, peace, peace. We know we're peacemakers. We know by the prayers we offer all day, all night. We know sisters, brothers, family, all peacemakers, that in our heart of hearts, we are connected to the heart of humanity. And in the one breath, we are breathing with all of humanity. In our hearts, with every heartbeat, we are pulsing the vibration, that healing balm, that salve of the loving embrace for those who are shattered, broken hearted, hurt, disconnected, maybe even in despair. In our breath, we are holding the atmosphere of peace and love and the embrace of the whole of humanity in the one breath. Take your hand and put it on your heart and feel your heartbeat. Feel that vibration pulsing, love, compassion, blessing, peace, light, hope. Go to your breath. Contribute to the atmosphere of loving, peace, light, hope. In that atmosphere, feeling the pulse of your heart. Pour that vibration and fill the atmosphere as I read some prayers. From Isaiah, keep yourself in perfect peace. From the Psalms, abundant peace belongs to those who love your law. Nothing can make them stumble. From the Apostle John, peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. 
Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. From Colossians, let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. Since as members of one body, you were called to peace. From the Quran Hadith, O oh Allah, you are peace and from you is peace. Blessed are you, O oh majestic and generous, to feed the hungry and to greet with peace those you know and those you do not know. Anyone who goes to make peace between two persons, the angels of Allah send blessings upon him until he returns, and he will be given the reward of the night of destiny. From St. Francis, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned. And it is dying that we are born to eternal life. Feeling that vibration. Knowing the, the atmosphere is present in your breath. From Sufi mystic Pirol Murshid Hazrat Anayat Khan. Riding on the horse of hope. Holding in my hand the rein of courage clad in the armor of patience and the helmet of endurance on my head. I started on my journey to the land of love. And from Amina, hope lives. The shattered are not without hope. Within the broken heart, hope lives. Inherent even in betrayal is hope. Neither from despair can it hide. Hope lives. War and peace rest on the fulcrum of hope. Love, lover, beloved, all rest in the full embrace of everlasting hope. Hope lives in you and me. Take me with you in that hope. Amen. 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 Yahoo. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. <clears throat> thank you thank you you uh, lightening the candles of our hearts mm -hmm. with, the, with these mm -hmm. deep words mm -hmm. and this is what we need mm -hmm. all the time the light for our candles we need to keep them lightning all the time thank you so much great person and holy person thank you Jabuddin. Would you like? Yes. I'm going to make an unusual appeal. It's not for funds. It's not for money. But our dear Sheikh Ghassan is really tired. And he admitted it to me, which is a big step. 
So I would like everybody, just for a moment, to send a little heart energy, love energy, to dear Sheikh Hassan. Take the energy of those beautiful prayers that Amina read and shared with us. Send that to our dear Sheikh Hassan. It is our job to keep each other not just alive, but full of light and full of energy. So send that energy right now and Dasan receive it. Don't give back. Take it all in. Eat it, taste it, smell it. It's yours from all of us. We need you, dear friend. We need you alive and healthy and full of energy. Okay. So thank you from all of us. Thank you. One last thing. We can sing a zikr together that we did once before. Shalom, salam, hu, hu. Who is the hidden name of God? So I think many of you know it. I ask you to turn off your mute buttons. Even though it sounds like a bit of a cacophony, turn them off and we'll sing it all together just three times. It's four repetitions, four repetitions, four repetitions, three times. Here we go. Shalom, salam, hu, hu. Shalom, salam, salam, salam. Alom salam salam Allah salam Allah salam salam and loved and all these people. Thank you so much. Oh, Yasan, I muted you by mistake. <laughs> no problem. I think okay, they, thank you. <laughs> they heard they heard the voice with their heart. Yes. <laughs> thank you so much. And inshallah, thank you, Shabuddin, for this great dicker. Mm. Thank you all. And thank you, David, Bishop yeah. Jones. Thank you, all of the great and the holy people all around the world. Love you so much and see you tomorrow, inshallah. Much love. We also could use some funds if you want to help that way. It's okay. <laughs> thank you all. Bless you all. Of course, thank Chris Miller, wherever you are. Akbar, it was a lot of work into making all of this real. So thank you, Akbar. Hassan, give us a final blessing, please. Okay. <laughs>